little known film that made its digital release today was the Manoj Bajpayee star and produced film Bhosle directed by Devashish Makija the movie that released in 2018 did the rounds of several film festivals including Cannes and now here is for the pleasant viewing experience of India on a large scale the film focuses on a retiring havaldar who is unwillingly getting stripped of his portfolio due to his age and is caught in the conundrum between a nameless existence in his cramped up room in the chawl to wanting a job extension to precisely not experience the cacophony that exists in his living situation how things transpire and take a dark turn in everyone's personal lives as the 10 day ganesh chaturthi celebrations commence and conclude in the chawl as a brother and sister from bihar move in and an extremist taxi driver wanting to make a name for himself in identity politics urges at a micro level for action and divisiveness is the premise of bhosle Devashish Makija has an extremely dark mind and we precisely saw that in the disturbing revenge thriller Ajji in Bhosle we get shifted again to the underbelly of Mumbai and the people that exist and try to fend for themselves on a daily basis here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether the movie is worth it or not the underwhelming aspects slow pace what needs to be understood in this film is that devashish makija deliberately wants the viewers to be transported to the daily grind and what the majority experience in a ruthless city like mumbai the movie is 2 hours long and has minimal dialogues its intention is to make you experience the cyclical nature of an individual for subsistence these are not your glossy wake up in the morning your world is your oyster visual treatment the visualization is action oriented to make you experience the isolation the loneliness and the bitter truth of millions of people this necessarily is not an underwhelming quality of the film but a creative decision that is intended to transport you and understand that this is real not the flary world you have been subjected to for years in cinema not for everyone i want to be very clear as i speak about the visceral experience that i had with watching this film is that it is not for everyone as devashish makija's films develop over a period of time you know the dark turn they are going to take this film is not meant for the faint hearted it sheds light on the most unattractive aspects of an individual's life barely having the means for existence but eventually even explores the ugly side of human nature and the drastic measures they can take when pushed to the edge this film is one of those that will really target your heartstrings so you have been warned beforehand the good immersive and atmospheric devashish makija has mastered the art of capturing mumbai and the ugly side many people don't explore just like the 1990 sai paranjpe film disha these are characters that are trying to create a space for themselves in this heartless city in order for you to understand them and their conditions the director makes the choice of visually showcasing the most menial tasks from washing your clothes having a bath banging on the radio on a daily basis as vintage music plays in the background the shrill noise of the crow the jarring sound of the traffic food being prepared from the morsel of atta that is left a taxi driver is seen shaving in his car getting ready for the day to day chores in a public bathroom all these tasks are visually represented to make us understand the personality and metal of these characters the hunger within them and the sense of hopelessness they feel due to the system and their surroundings direction through contrast what devashish makija beautifully represents through this film is the contrast between the celebrations during ganesh chaturthi and the dread that exists in the lives of several characters at the same time the very first frame showcases bhosle getting stripped off his uniform as he is unwillingly being instructed to retire much to the dismay of bhosle himself as he wants a job extension and the same visuals are juxtaposed with a ganesh statue being prepared for celebrations while one is getting professionally terminated another one is being prepared for festivities There is a beautiful sequence also as the chawl is dancing and the deafening dhol and a boy helplessly is trying to convey a message of a traumatic event he gets pushed around the boy weeps and wails but his sound is suppressed due to the deafening dhol the film beautifully captures how the city of mumbai transforms for those 10 days of absolute festivities the population goes in a tandav of sorts an uncontrollable trance like state to remove the negativity and vices that exist within them and not identifying or realizing the real problems that people may be experiencing at the same time the cast and manoj bajpai the film presents an acting masterclass and there's no way of saying this otherwise abhishek banerji appears briefly as a bihari transplant who is irked at the influence of maharashtrian pride in the chawl and has created a group of bihari pride 
aimed for the protection of North Indians. Despite his brief appearance, he, like any of his appearances, does a commendable job. Ipshita Chakrabarti Singh and Virat Vaibhav as Sita and Lalu, the Bihari siblings that move into the Jol, are exceptional. The moments shared between Sita and Bhosle explore this undefinable energy that draws two unlikely characters together. Something difficult to compute even for the characters themselves. The little kid as well, Virat, he showcased such naivety and horror to the new world he is experiencing. Santosh Juvikar, a very popular Marathi actor whom I became a fan of in Shala, is absolutely brilliant as Vilas, a man trying to make a mark in this world for something, a man who is desperate for any form of notoriety and respect. Santosh brings forth the energy and conviction required for such a role and matches the legend that is Manoj Bajpai. Now, the legend himself. Man, this is called an artist. When I see a film, I don't want even a glimpse of the real personality. Bajpai through Bhosle completely transforms himself as the reclusive and compliant to the system retired Havaldar. There are very few actors I can name who can present the same conviction in such a character role. Just like Devashish Makhija said, Bajpai is like clay that can be molded into any shape. Similarly, I find him like water, who takes the shape of anything that it is poured into. This is the benchmark that we should aim for, as in the quality we want in cinema. The acting performances that we as a country can be proud of, not the mediocrity we have been subjected to. This film and the portrayal of Bhosle will make you respect the actor 10 times more. I want to conclude by saying that the film focuses on several issues, where it focuses on the migrant issue in Maharashtra, the sense of pride and ownership that some fringe groups feel of their own land and jobs available. The movie's aim is to shed light on human nature, how everyone in this world in many ways wants to create a name for themselves. In this quest to find a purpose, individuals get drawn to the most destructive and divisive movements, which lead to the characters partaking on a journey where they can't even recognize themselves. The film also sheds light on the inhumane nature of our systems and how we push individuals to the edge who are compliant and respectful, pushing them to such limits until they break with no glimpse of retrieve. As the movie starts and concludes, it beautifully creates the contrast between the state of the characters and the conclusion of the festival with the Visarjan, shedding light on the fact that nothing on this earth is ever eternal. And that was the video guys, write it down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.